Hi everyone, this is Usha Pandit, your Mind Springs English teacher. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe, you press that bell notification, you please share and uh, the link and dis uh, check the description of the video, write your comments. So, okay, today we are going to talk about, I am going to give you a brief idea of why we do grammar. So, grammar is an uh, a part of English that you cannot, simply cannot throw away. I wish we could. So, some people might argue that if we can speak English well, why do we need grammar and they are absolutely right. You do not need grammar if you can speak and write brilliantly. And a lot of people switched from regular grammar to functional grammar because they felt that speaking and writing was the way to go. This is easier said than done because speaking and writing in correct English is not as simple as they make it out to be. Okay? There is a certain process which is very hard for us to do in a country like India which is an ESL country where we do not have immersion in the language, we, do, we are not living in a place where there is lots of English floating around us. So therefore, what do we do? We are in, not in a position to give us give up grammar, that is one. Secondly, if you notice, all your competitive exams after school require you to know excellent grammar and that is mainly because they are keen on eliminating people from the competition. So, if you have got a lack of people who are crowding to get 3000 places or 300 places somewhere, you cannot possibly take all of them in if you set a very easy paper. So, how do you eliminate people? You eliminate them with a segment of grammar which is hard. So, if you look at the last CBSE paper we had, it had a fill in the blank where it said dash, the letter should arrive or the letter arrives, arrive not arrives but arrive, could you please forward it to me something like that. And there was this huge discussion that it could be an if or a should, but that is not true. It can only be should because the verb is not arrives, it is arrive. So, therefore, you will have these kind of small issues if your English is not a hundred percent and most people do not have a hundred percent English. This is why you need grammar. You will need grammar because you need to get those 12 marks in that examination in any competitive exam whether you do SAT, whether you do GMAT, you want to get into a university outside, you want to get into a college in the country. Today, everything after school will go into a competitive examination mode. So, there is no escape. There could have been escape some years back, but not anymore. Grammar is a huge component of writing. So, the structure of sentences is what we get in grammar. Now, if you simply do grammar the way we have been doing grammar all these years, including me, all of us learnt grammar in the most basic form possible. There was an assumption that somebody is going to ask you what is an adverb or what is a preposition. The mode of teaching, the pedagogy was such that it was uh, completely geared towards labeling parts of speech. That is not the purpose of grammar. The purpose of grammar is to see the inner engineering of language to see what happens when you change an adverb, to look at vocabulary when you change an adjective and you start changing the adjectives, the positive and the negative nature of a certain thing, a certain situation. That change is what you are observing when you start using grammar the right way. Now, you might say children do not even know their parts of speech thoroughly. How do you expect them to do this? The reason they do not know their grammar perfectly and permanently and superbly is because the way we are teaching it, the way the whole world is teaching it perhaps is wrong, is simply wrong. We are following what is called a linear system of grammar. So, you take any grammar book, you have a noun and an adjective and an adverb and then it goes like that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
By the time you reach the 10th item, you've forgotten the third item. By the time you reach the 12th item, you've forgotten the seventh one. So the forgetting cycle makes sure that you never achieve grammar. This cycle needs to be broken. So if you are a school, make sure you start subscribing to Language with Ease. This is a series that I have created from grade 1 to grade 7, Language with Ease. It's a completely different system. So you do grammar very briefly. Don't sweat. Don't try to explain it. Just do it every day very, very briefly. And you will find that over a period of, let us say, 100 days, which is what you have in a year, which is what I put in the books, you will find with that 100 sentences, your students parsing them on a daily basis, get all the vocabulary permanently. Schools that have found this hard to believe are absolutely shocked. Parents are absolutely thrilled with what their second grader has achieved. Vis-a-vis the ninth grader, the brother, who is not able to pick out an adverb. And the second grader tells him, I'll help you, I'll show you how. It's that good. We need to change that system. Whatever works is good. What, it, what does not work, we simply jettison. We don't continue with it because it's wasteful, right? One of the problems with language with ease was that it didn't have an answer key. I was very keen that teachers pick up, learn, and start doing the teaching and thereby uh, creating a more uh, sort of interactive, tangible, meaningful interaction in the classroom. But I found that it's hard on them. So this year I decided that I'm going to take the answer keys for these and put it on Kindle. So I have not produced an answer key book. I am not using the answer key in this, these books. I am not giving you an answer key at the back with just certain numbers or certain um, options. I am giving you a beautiful book in which I have not only given you the answers, I have explained to you how it happens. So it is a complete system whether the school is using it or not. If you are a parent, you should use it at home. The sentences are remarkably robust. They are not these small little sentences of fill in the blanks that you find in normal grammar books. The girl went dash the room and then you have to fill into or out of. It's not that kind of grammar. Because that kind of grammar besides being linear and the children forgetting it does not give the child a peep into the kind of structures that go into the making of really good long complex sentences. The kind of sentences that you want those children to write when they are writing. Now when they are writing if you just say the girl walked into the room, she sat on the chair, the teacher is not happy. Right? The teacher wants complex sentences, the teacher wants great vocabulary. How is this going to happen? In this book if I tell you change the adjective and you say that instead of saying beautiful, you can say you can say various words like delicious, delightful, excellent, uh, uh, gorgeous, others. Or for adverbs, you say don't say very, say certainly, definitely, truly, sincerely. If I give you a lot of vocabulary for every adjective that you change, the bag of vocabulary that you have is simply fabulous. Think about it. It's not going to happen with your course reader, definitely not. Because if you wait for the word reluctantly to happen in the course book, it may or may not happen. But in language with ease, you are certain to meet it. And because the Kindle version of that answer key, not the version, we only have the Kindle, uh, sorry about that. We only have the uh, Kindle version, which means it's an e-book. Do not ask for the, after getting the Kindle version, buying the Kindle version, do not ask for the hard uh, copy because it's not coming. It's all going to be on Kindle. And if you want to know how to buy it, at the end of this video, we are going to post another video which you should click on so that you know exactly how to access Kindle and how to get that answer key. 
remember the answer keys are there to help you. So, you first need to work on it and then you need to start looking at the answers only to convince yourself that you are on the right track. The answer keys are not meant to be just copied. They are not meant to be just looked into immediately as soon as you see the problem you look at the answer and you say ah, I could have got this. this was so easy I could have got it. That is a myth. It is like trying to do a jigsaw puzzle looking at the whole picture and saying ah, I could have got this. I can see the picture I know I would have done this. You would not. It is really hard when you go through the process and I would urge you to go through that process. So, whether your school buys it or not, if you are a school, you should certainly buy it because this is the only way to go if you want to master language and if you want to produce students whose structures are absolutely stunning, who have a cache of vocabulary that is formidable and enviable and who are people who are confident speakers and writers of English, you need to switch out of the traditional grammar system and move into a lateral grammar system that I am giving you. As I said, everything will go into writing. So, there is no point in doing grammar if you are not going to use that grammar for writing or that vocabulary for writing. So, everything will flow into writing and speech, it is got an oral component which is a delight. So, if I were to say, have you given the book to the teacher? The child needs to repeat the structure. Have you given the book to the teacher? Have you given the book to the teacher? It needs to be in normal speed. It cannot be read as have you given the book to the teacher because we do not speak like this. Have you given the book to the teacher? Yes, I have. She was pleased. It is a structure. No, I have not. I forgot. I will do it right away. Now, we never allow our students to use these structures. So, they never learn the language. They are constantly looking at formal text or formal poetry, but that is not going to aid them in getting their own tongues to move around language. So, therefore, with all these goodies happening, you definitely need to make that change in the coming year. I have done videos for grade 3 and grade 5 and grade 6 and grade 7. So, if you go to the playlist and look for language with these, you will find videos where I have actually cracked a sentence and done a few manipulations on the uh, sentence. So, you will be able to see how it works. So, therefore, if you have, uh, if you buy the book, you can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it on our website or and if you go and get the Kindle answer key you are set. The grade 7 answer key will be put up in a few uh, weeks time. It is it's ready, but it is not, it is still being proofed. But all the other 6 books are available and ready for you. So, therefore, do not go by the grades. Make sure that if your grammar is weak, you start at the bottom and work your way to the top. That is the best way to do it. So, I hope you write to me and let me know how you are doing with grammar and with speech and with writing and with vocabulary because you made the right choice. So, till we meet again, keep smiling.